This is a uh, quick video review of the Qtron Plus XO from Electroharmonics. Um, got a little bit ago. I almost returned it the first day I got it. I was having a bad day and was having a hard time dialing in good tones. It seemed to take forever and started to box it up and a couple days later took it back out before I returned it. I'm glad I did because it's actually a really good filter. Um, lots of options on it though so it's pretty sensitive. Um, here's what we got. You have the choice of low pass, medium pass, high pass and then a mix which they say is good for bass but I use my X blender for most of that anyway um, you've got fast or slow response uh, fast will give you a uh, quicker movement of the envelope I suppose I guess and a slower one gives you more of the vowel sounds I prefer that you got high and low uh, for the range low seems to work a lot better for bass that I've found you have the peak which is also known as the Q uh, you've got gain which is probably pretty terribly lev uh, labeled. It's a sensitivity control, but you also have a boost over here, and when the boost is on, it works as both a volume control and the sensitivity control at the same time. So they'd probably be better off just having this be a sensitivity knob, and if they wanted to boost anyway, just have a plain old volume knob. Um, maybe that's just me. All right, here's a little sample of my clean tone first. Sorry ahead of time for the playing. It's very early in the morning, and in addition to that, I suck. Um, all right, I'm using an active five string, by the way. All right, instructions. Who follows them? But uh, they give you the advice to start off in this setting first. Keep it on low pass. Put it on slow, low. Max the Q. Keep the gain variable. The boost off. This is what it sounds like the way you're supposed to start out. Big volume burst. Or start out with. Sounds good. I play pretty lightly, by the way, because your playing style is going to determine a lot of how you're going to set this. You might not want to copy what I play. But to get the tone I prefer to begin with, I'll pull the cue down a little bit. Gain probably set to about there. Try messing around a little bit, get a couple different settings, pull the gain up a little bit, and allow you to play lighter and still have the cue open up. Open up the cue a little more. Okay. Now, uh, I'm not going to mess with this side too much because these sound better with, uh, I imagine, with guitar and stuff, but they sound pretty nice when you're switching for bass if you want a guitar like sound. <laughs> Pass. If you do this set with a uh, blender pedal, it comes out pretty well, but you don't really want that on your bass all that much by itself. Here's the mix mode. Okay, 
go back to low pass. Forgot to mention that's the overload light. Um, basically, you can use it like a like a control to tell you when you're hitting it right. When when it just starts to flash, when you're hitting your highest notes, that's supposed to be the uh, the best setting. Um, I find it sounds best a lot when that thing's lit up a lot of the time. And I forgot to mention this is the up and down range switch. Now, using the same controls you use for uh, let's go back to where I was going before. Using the same controls you're using for the up to have it sound great. Doesn't always sound very good in the down position. Not much there. Switch some of the controls around a little bit. Let's put the gain down a little and the cue up. Let's try a little more. Let's move it to fast. Put a little less cue on that. This actually sounds really good in the uh, band pass or medium pass, whatever, and the high pass for like, guitar. Let's go to high pass. let you know what you're playing if you're playing too hard. Alright, let's go to what the manual says is the Qtrons version of the original Mutron setting. Set it to down, set the range to fast, it's still there. Where am I going here? Keep the Q in the midpoint.